Today, we talk about... Boom, boom. Brett Hiker, welcome. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it is a lot to take in, but... I pictured they'd all be in like little like separate boxes, like terrariums. Nah, um, I, some people like to do that. I'm yeah. not a fan of doing that. I like to let them just kind of breathe and be able to touch them and... They all get along when you're not here? What's that? They all get along when you're not here? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, from what I've seen, no scuff marks, no, no yeah. scratches. All right. Well, okay, so I picked my the six that I like the most. Yeah, yeah. And the six I think are the ugliest. Yeah. I've got a thing for brown shoes, I realized. Huh. Yeah. You know what? I, I've i noticed this trend with a lot of the guys that come through here that aren't, like, heavy messers with sneakers, especially yeah. to this level, and they always tend to stick to, like, the simple classics, like brown shoes, yeah. a pair of black shoes, a pair of white shoes, and that's about that's cool. it. I, uh, I was actually looking at your page, and I was thinking, I was like, I... I coined this term for myself, which is uh, shoe blind. Okay. Which is I don't look at people's shoes. Huh. Like people do. It's kind of like I don't look at girls' butts either. <laughs> it's not out of re uh, like respect. I just literally don't even think to do it. Like <laughs> some beautiful girl will walk past, and all my friends will turn and look at her butt and be like, "Did you see that?" And I was like, "No, I didn't even think to look." Uh, <laughs> but same with shoes. In fact, in my hockey league, we play on feet, and there was this really good player the other day, and they were like. Uh, Hey, everyone guard the guy with the green Reeboks. And I was like, which is the one with the green Reeboks? And I was like, the Asian guy? And they're like, yes, the Asian guy. I was like, let's stick to race. I don't see shoes. <laughs> he was really good, too. Jeez. These are great. These ones stuck out to me right away. Wow, okay. That's so a, I just set them aside? Uh, just one of them, just so okay, I can cool. keep track. And uh, it's actually funny. Have you ever had the uh, halal carts out here? Yeah. Like the oh, street? Yeah. yeah, this was actually That's inspired. Most of my diet. Yeah, this was inspired by that. The There's an extra butter boutique that yeah. uh, specializes in. Shoes, footwear, streetwear, etc. And um, this is the white sauce hot sauce shoe. Yeah, so it's got the white sauce on the outside, red sauce on the inside. The green is the lettuce, what? the yellow is the rice. You get the browns, all the shades of meat, and then like little hits of pink for like the uncooked meat. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get so it's kind of. I like it even more now. Yeah, right. Yeah. So maybe that's why you were so drawn to it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> all right, so actually, I'll uh, I'll put a pile from one of each pair over here. Oh yeah. Just so we can keep track, so that's one. Out to me right away. Yeah, okay. I like solid black because I feel like you can pull, you can wear them in uh, semi-formal situations. Yeah. Are you a uh, Drake fan at all? No. No. Well, this is his uh, Jordan collaboration, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Th this is the, um, you notice these are two versions. This was like the original Jordan 10 that came out uh, back in, what was it, 90... Oof, man, 95, 95, 96. And then this is, uh, this came out, I think 2016, but this is just like slightly, you know, st faux stingray type leather and yeah. a couple changes there, but- A little uh, bedazzled. Yeah. All right. But hey, I mean, yeah. if you like the shoe for the shoe, enough for Drake, no worries. <laughs> No, I'm glad that me and Drake are similar tastes. He's a very well-dressed guy. Can we but, go to the other side? Yeah, for sure, man. That's, uh, so on that wall, it's mostly Adidas and a lot of Air Max towards yeah. the bottom here, so. Man, this is like a high-fidelity record collection. <laughs> Do you ever just, like, take a day and reorganize them all for whatever reason? Uh, no. Nah, really? Would. It took me forever just to get this room set up. I've only had this room set up maybe a couple months now, if that. And all I right. moved here in August, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's just been a bitch just setting up all the shelves and then organizing the shoes and then reorganizing everything, so. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. These. Boom, okay. Another brown one. All right, all right. What's their story? Uh, so these actually all, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. These uh, top six shoes here, they're all from what's called the Island Series of Adidas. This one okay. being Hawaii, as you can see there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this one that says Cancun, obviously it's not an island. Why they chose to do that i don't know but uh, then you got tahiti uh samoa i think these are no trinidad sorry they should have cozumel for the island Co uh, yeah that, well maybe you should be an exec man, man listen, <laughs> nike you're hiring <laughs> and then uh the uh jamaica actually is it yeah jamaica's not an island is it yeah Jim is it yeah, yeah. Oh, those are cool too i'm blanked yeah they're uh, they're probably the most popular of the whole island series but i kind of really? went overboard and got all six yeah so what are you gonna do and they've got like a yellow kind of like almost like timberlands like a brand new pair mm, of timberlands yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to switch from this or are you sticking with the hawaii no, i think i want to add this yeah. to it oh with both you got yeah, go yeah. both all right, all yeah. right so that's four total that is four total you got two to go my man can i switch to uglies not yet we're gonna do a separate segment for that one okay cool but I'm sure, as uh, as most people, this is similar to you, they uh, already know kind of in their head what's ugly as they're looking at uh, what their favorites are. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a lot 
of basketball, specific on the lower end there. I don't know if you're a big basketball fan or not, but. Uh, I'm not, in fact, I was just in Denver and they had the uh, Denver Canadiens oh, yeah. basketball game. Okay. And uh, they were like, we play or tall? And I was like, no, I, I can't, I mean, I'm pretty athletic for a comic, but overall I'm a comic, <laughs> so I'm pretty uncoordinated. Fair. And uh, nothing makes it come out worse than basketball. That's the one sport I can't just like, sit back and fake. <laughs> Well, uh, I I definitely am a bigger basketball fan, but uh, I definitely just wear them mostly for casual wear now, not even for performance. But anyway, yeah. boom! Wow! All right. You are actually the first non uh, sneakerhead to pick this. Really? And it always drives people crazy that no one picks this because this is like such a rare what is shoe. It? It's a it's a Bapesta. So it's kind of like I, I'm sure you've seen these in your travels all over the world, the Air Force Ones. The, uh, the classic white and white shoes that, with the yeah, pretty yeah. simplistic uh, looking um, one of the oldest Nikes ever. Uh, then they were typically doing like uh, simplified colors, although you see a few little changes over the years. But originally they were just doing like very basic colors. And then this guy Nigo comes along from this company, Bape. And uh, he's like, oh, you know, I'm going to redesign the swoosh to be like the star thing. And then I'm going to do all these crazy patterns and neons and blues and greens and all that stuff. And then this one was actually a, uh, are you a Kanye fan? I mean, a okay. casual Kanye fan. Kind of, yeah. yeah. So this is the, the college dropout pair colorway because uh, of the, you know, the bear, obviously. So this was made for Kanye's and, uh, well, not for him. It, I believe they did release. They weren't like a sample pair because like sample pairs are like, uh, I'm like giving you a mini education here. Yeah, yeah. Certain things everyone can get, but uh, they're limited. So you're going to have to go to a secondary market to find them in the first place. Yeah. Certain shoes. Other shoes don't release to the general public at all, even in limited numbers. Like it's it's like either a family, friends and family pair, or okay, or uh, like a, just a sample pair that just never released. It was like a sample to like a newer updated prototype that they eventually produced. And then so for example, these. We're a friends and family pair for uh, LeBron. This is a LeBron 9, and you see all the crazy artwork compared yeah, to, like, yeah. the standard. I mean, this this was not standard. This was uh, also a pretty loud colorway. This one actually was released to, to the folks. This one was just gifted to, you know, special people for uh, um, uh, Kanye and uh, Jay-Z's uh, Watch the Throne tour back in those days. I don't know if you <laughs> recall around 2011, so... Uh, hence, you know, the crazy artwork to the, you know, the sock liner, the insoles, the, you know, some of them came with like a special little medallion piece that I don't have. There's like three different sample versions of this. And I was just lucky to find a sample to, to actually. So can you reveal your connection to how you got these? <laughs> uh, cash. All right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, these, uh, you're looking at uh, easily someone, actually another comic asked me yesterday, well, what do you think the uh, total value in this room is? I'm, I'm guessing at least a hundred thousand. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, I believe it. You know, like these, again, these actually did end up releasing and uh, they, but, you know, they were limited and very hard to find nowadays, especially yeah. in uh, unworn condition. Granted, I've already scuffed it up a little bit on the edge there from just moving it from where I used to live, but, you know, just deal How with that. How many these do you never wear? Well, I, I plan to wear all of them. It's just something like I only have two shoes, man, or two feet. Yeah. So yeah. I don't have time to uh, get to all of them yet, but the plan is to eventually wear them at some point. But uh, uh, these... I would guess right now would go for at least like three thousand bucks. Really? Yeah. Uh, and when they released, if you you know were in on it or you know stood in line for however long you had to back in those days, yeah, uh, you could get them for retail costs because like the retail cost of a lot of these sneakers is anywhere from the one sixty, sixty five, two hundred, maybe three hundred range. Yeah. But to get them, like especially the the classics that I collect, just because I'm more of a original collector from original colorways, specific. Um, like uh, what's a good example like uh, I mean the Air Force Ones for example like we were just talking about they came out with like multiple different versions of this that are like what I call takedown versions so they're like outlet versions or the versions that they mass produce so that everyone and their mom can get them yeah. and, uh, and they'll go for you know they'll go on sale they'll be cheap these well not so much those specifically because that one actually was general release Luckily, some of these, they actually produce enough that you can get them if you want them. Okay. But for the most part, a lot of what you see here, you cannot just walk into a full locker and buy. You yeah. have to oh, buy okay. it from the secondary market. And then that 200 to 300 to even $65 range is easily in the thousands just 
immediately. Like that episode of Entourage where they wait in line. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's basically like that. Like Turtle's idea was to cut the line and yeah. just get the shoes for a retail cost, but. Yeah. Because he couldn't get them and they sold out, the only way he could get them is if someone had them on sale on eBay from back in those days for thousands extra. So, all right. And actually, they did release the Entourage uh, Air Force One. I don't have it, but uh, they released, and uh, I think if you want them nowadays, they go for at least a couple grand. Really? Yeah. So I don't like it enough to get it that bad, but uh, I have seen every episode like four times. So. <laughs> of Entourage? Uh, yeah, unashamedly. Oh, I've seen like 10 total, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what, what kind of shoes were you into growing up, if any? Like, you said you didn't like notice shoes, but do you... Uh, I mean, I literally just jumped on whatever was popular at the time. Like, I went from like, uh, whatever the fuck you were as a kid, to like, remember the first things I was into were uh, just like the first skateboard shoes that came oh, out okay, from gotcha. popular bands and whatnot, and I was into those, and then it became... Indoor soccer shoes. Yep, yep. Yeah, I got those on the other side. The Vans and Converse are mostly here or down there because uh, they don't get much love. But uh, yeah, a lot of this is definitely basketball themed just because yeah. that kind of drives the sneaker razzle dazzle as of 2014, 15, and then it starts to shift more to like pure lifestyle. But a lot of what you see here is pretty much basketball inspired. So I wanted to, I wanted to re Reebok pumps when they were uh, when they were popular. And my dad found a pair discount, and they were uh, indoor football turf shoes, kind of like. With the Reebok pumps were indoor? They, they were pumps, you know, they had the football shape there. And they had, oh. like, they had like the side line, or like 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 the 50-yard line, 40-yard line down. And uh, I got made fun of so much for because <laughs> I thought they were just basketball shoes. But they were made for soccer? No, for football. For oh. Clearly like oh, wow, okay. American football. Interesting. Yeah. I had no idea. I did not know that. All right, I'm going to go with the... Uh, this one we talked about earlier, which I know just a variation of the uh, Drake one, <laughs> but I like it. Yeah, the uh, shadow, or is it shadow or shadow gray? I forgot. I think it's just shadow Jordan tons. But yeah, this th this was cool because this, uh, when it released, this was the model that was designed while Jordan was retired, that two-year gap or so. Okay. So during that time, they continued to put out Jordans, and what they did for these is they, they commemorated all his major achievements oh, yeah. amongst those. So you got the Rookie of the Year in 85. and 86, he scored 63 points against the uh, Celtics. So won the scoring title in 87, Dunk Champ 88. So all those different, uh, you know, achievements they put into the shoe to kind of... His biggest achievement of 88 was Dunk Champ? Yeah. <laughs> that was a slow year for Jordan, I think. Yeah, well, you know, in retrospect. But at the time, it was... Well... He was probably one of the first dunk dunk contest right yeah it wasn't the first but at the time it was definitely a big deal because he did like the free throw dunk he yeah. he beat out dominique wilkins who was like a monster dunker at the time and uh and they were going back and forth where he lost the year before and then he came back and won the next year so it was like a redemption story all that classic heroes tale okay. and whatnot so you know all right. back then the dunk contest was definitely a bigger deal than it is now i think the right. dunk contest died after my buddy uh vince, vince carter, carter. yeah not in these shoes, but in 2000, I remember watching the dunks that he was pulling off in those in that contest. I was like, I will never see something this great ever again in the dunk contest, and that right. still happened. So. I recall it. Yeah. But these were actually the shoes that he wore in the 2000 Olympics, where he jumped over that seven-foot French guy. Oh, yeah? For the dunk. So oh, I was yeah. like, I have to have these. <laughs> that was the first debut. Because that's yeah. the thing that there's, I'm sure you've seen, or you remember in your youth seeing a lot of kids, and even now, like people with shocks, shoes. Oh, yeah. Right? But this was the first model, let alone the model that he debuted in the Olympics with that amazing feat of, you know, jumping over a freaking seven, seven footer. So for that reason, this is the only shocks I collected, not the other ones. I don't yeah, really yeah. care about the other ones because this started it all. So that's kind of my theme to a lot of the collecting here is like, you know, which of these was the, like the iconic version of whatever came after it. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's six. Is it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Dope, man. So, uh, Dope, we'll see you on, on the ugly six. All right, cool. Peace.